Hello, everybody, and warm greetings from Montreal to Yerevan, from all of us in the Secretariat of the Convention on Biological Diversity, the CBD. I'm delighted to have this opportunity to convey our appreciation for this event, which initiates a symbolic countdown to COP17, taking place in just over a year's time. First of all, may I express our gratitude to the government of Armenia, to its Ministry of Environment for co-organizing and supporting this important event as we forge ahead with the preparatory process towards the UN Biodiversity Conference 2026. I would also like to thank His Excellency Ambatsu Matsevosian for his tireless efforts leading the COP17 Planning Committee and for his personal commitment to ensuring a successful event next year. Our collaboration with the Ministry of the Environment of Armenia is exemplary. And kudos to the American University of Armenia and its Ecopian Center for the Environment for this initiative today. To implement the Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework, or KMGBF for short, we know that we need whole of government and whole of society approaches. The fact that the host government of COP17 chose to partner with the university for this inaugural event of the UN Biodiversity Conference bodes well and speaks volumes. We will need the continued strong engagement with all parts of the Armenian society, including all of you, representing youth and academia, and also the private sector in the run-up to COP17, which will see the first ever global review of progress in the implementation of the KMGBF, with then just four years left to achieve the 23 action targets of the KMGBF and safeguard our world's biodiversity. In Yerevan, the Conference of the Parties will have before it important decisions that will shape the remainder of this race. So we need all your energy to accelerate and bring new actors on board. Let us work together to make the 2026 UN Biodiversity Conference, COP17, the moment when this happens. The stakes are as high as Mount Ararat. So I thank you for your commitment and support and hope to meet many of you when I next visit Yerevan and, of course, at COP17.